This is going to be the second part of the uh, Celica lip build. If you saw in the previous episode, all the actual fiberglassing is done. So now what we've got to do is do some filler work so we can actually improve this line through here, make that stand out a little bit more, smooth all this in here, through here, round this edge off a little bit more, take a little bit off the bottom, and then also some filler through here and just generally smooth it all over but it's pretty good actually it's not too bad just need a general rub over with a, say an 80 then a 180 grit and then uh, when I actually come to stick it on I'll probably put it on with some 3M tape I think just to secure it in place but yeah I'm pretty happy with how it's coming out it's dried really nice it's not over heavy it's got a little bit of um, give to it which is fine because then if I do any, any curves or anything it's going to flex and not just crack which is what I want. So what I do is I'll uh, give it a rub over with an 80 grit like I said and then we'll mix some filler up and I think I'll probably start with this side first because it's closer to the heater and it is another cold day again today and possibly help the filler dry a little bit quicker and then uh, hopefully we get the, all the filler work done today and we can uh, get some primer on it. Okay so as you can see I've started the actual filler work I'm just going to recreate this line here which is going off nicely now and this little line here and then I'll smooth that in I've also done a light skim across here but that's all my uh, Ice Pump P38 all used up I've just opened my Easy Filler and it's rock solid so it has been a while since I've actually um, done any filler work which is a bit annoying so that's going to go in the bin I'll see if I can uh, order some more I have got this Flexi plastic filler, but I don't know if this is going to be the right stuff. So I'm going to give that a go, I think, just on a small area. I think this might be just for plastic bumpers, etc. So if I just try it in a small area, see how it dries. And uh, if it works okay, then I'll, I can use this until I order some more filler. There we go. That'll do, probably a bit too much, but hey. So I'll mix this up and I'll uh, whack this on and we'll have a look to see if it works. So it goes on nice and smooth. It does say on the tin it is for fiberglass, so hopefully this should be alright. If it's not, I'm going to sand this bit out. I'm only going to do a light skim across it anyway, just to fill in imperfections. And we create that little line there. Okay, so what I'm going to do when we stop playing with it and messing about with it, I'll leave it to dry for 10-15 minutes or so and then uh, we'll see how it dries and see how it sands. It all looks alright, so we'll see. See, I'm still pissing about with it. Can't help it. Leave. Leave it. So it looks like it actually sands down quite nice. So I think I'll be alright using that all over and the actual panel is actually sanding down quite nice as well see some uh, high spots and low spots and I'll get that all nice and flat as best I can with a uh, using an 80 grit at the moment and then I'll finish off with a 180 before we do any primer on it Right so I've actually been doing uh, quite a bit of filler work on this and I've noticed this area here on this corner is still really weak you can see how easy that's bending there so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to actually lay a bit more fiberglass on the back just to strengthen this area up through here. Also I need to actually grind a little bit of this corner back here because this corner bends forward. So I'm going to put a little bit more glass in there as well, just some sort of material to actually be able to sand back. Same as on this corner here, I'll do the same there. I don't know if you can see it actually just, but I can't see it on camera, it just kicks that way. So it points that way and I want it to be rounded so... If I keep finding through, it's only thin anyway, so it'll go thing, um, through quite quick. So I think I'll just um, 
lay a bit of glass in there just to strengthen that up. I'm going to put a little bit here as well, and a little bit of uh, weakness there, just to strengthen it up a little bit. I might even just do a, little, a nice layer of um, fiberglass along that front return there. I've got a little bit of resin left. Yeah, I should have enough. So I think I'll do that now, and then I'll crack on with the filler work. So the um, filler's arrived. I've got the actual normal body filler, the easy sanding body filler this time. It's the old big boy um, filler, something cheap, 650 I think it was. But I did read online, you can actually use this on fiberglass, so it should be okay. I've used it quite a bit on the actual front. I'll show you that in a little while. So what I'll do now is I'll uh, cr crack on and um, get some fiberglass cut up, some gel mixed up, and I'll just lay that in there. I'll stick you on the tripod so you can have a look as I'm doing it. Some people might find it interesting, some people might find it boring, but hey ho, mix in pot. Pretty cold today, so I think I'll do a fast mix. So I'll put a little bit more activator in, and uh, actually, I won't do that yet. I won't put the activator in yet because I've got to cut my fiberglass first. That should be enough. So I'll do is I'll uh, trim the fiberglass pieces. And then what I'll do, I think, when it's actually um, almost dry, I'm going to lay some foil on the back of it to protect it, and then I'll stick it on the actual car to dry in the correct position, just in case any warpage or anything like that. And the foil should actually stop it from actually sticking to the actual car, in theory. Right, OK. I'm on the tissue, on the actual mat. So I've got some uh, pieces of this. Should be good. I'll do. I think I'll just do it in small section, just to increase the uh, strength on that lip there along the front. I'll keep this all up first with an 80 grit, just to give it a bit more of a key, so the actual um, resin will stick to it. You know, I'll just do some pieces along the front like that. I think all the way along the front, and then I'll strengthen this corner here. So I need to put that up there really. I need to put that strength in this corner because that's where it's weak just there. See it's got a big crease in it through there. You can see that on camera. But I'll strengthen all that as well. Put quite a bit in there I think. Not too much here because I want it to actually still fit nice. But this bit here where I've got to sand through here to make this section the correct shape. I'll put quite a bit in there. I've got some material to actually uh, grind back. It's probably two layers of the 300. That gives me a 600 gram finish and then I'll probably just do the one through there I think just to give it a bit more strength and I'll probably do the same oh, do the same on this one no this one's fine here so I'll just do an extra piece there and then I'll do strips all the way along then that gives me so I've got 300 and two layers of tissue on there anyway so that gives me 600 and layer of tissue that should be plenty I don't want a really thick heavy piece sometimes you get um, fiberglass and it's made and it's just way too thick and way too heavy you don't get a, I like a little bit of flexibility in it so just in case I do hit any curves it's going to give me that little bit of a bounce rather than just cracking straight away I know the car's not massively low but it's still helps if you uh, drive up to curbs, especially around this area, we've got really high curbs, so we have to reverse park everywhere. Right, I think I'll just do one little bit more there, and I think then I'll lay some resin down. Okay, that's the acetone, how much harder have I got? Not a massive amount really, so I think it's going to be one of these. I put that in there. That's dead now. Okay, where's my mixing stick? There it is. I've been quite impressed with this kit actually. I have I probably used a little bit too much hardener in uh, some of the actual uh, glass fibre I've been doing because um, it has been a little bit colder, so I got a little bit um, stronger in the mix really.
on the edges. Excellent, right. The old paintbrush, which is still all right. Start here, I think. Just lay that down. And we'll stick out and use that if we can. Something like that, I think. Yeah. Just give me a bit more strength. I'll put a little bit extra in there. I'll probably do two layers on that piece there. That piece there will go in there just to give it a bit of extra strength. Through that join. Okay, so I'll crack on with this. I'll put it on fast forward. Don't bore anybody and uh, get to the foil stage and then we put it on the car just for it to dry. It's a quite fast mix because I've used the last bit of that uh, activator so it should um, dry quite quick, especially if it's really cold outside again. We're expecting snow tonight, so hopefully, this should be dry enough by this afternoon to carry on with the actual filler work. That's all the fiberglassing done, and I'm nice. What I'm going to do now is just lay a little bit of foil over the top. I'll probably peel this off afterwards. So I'm just going to use this as a protective barrier. When I put it on the car, the resin doesn't stick to the panel, so I can't get it off. That's the theory anyway, I'm sure it worked. Just stand it on and foil, there's nothing in there. And work out of it. This bit here doesn't matter because that's lower than the actual car, anyway. it's just this bit here that actually sits on the actual front bumper itself. Okay. Bit more there, tiny bit. Yeah, a little resin. So we're gonna pop this on the car now. I'm gonna leave it to dry for about an hour or so. We'll take it back off and carry on with the uh, filler work. So yeah, back on the car. Doesn't look too bad. Filler work's going okay. I see in that bottom corner just there where I've actually strengthened it so I've actually carved a little bit more out of that so it's all the one shape and this side fits nice nice and level goes with nice with the side of the actual bumper down there through there but this side still kicks in a little bit as you can see there that kicks in so I have got to pull that side out which is not a problem I may just cut it and then just pin it and then re-glass it I have to get some more activator for the uh, fiberglass resin. I can just get a cheap little kit for that, I don't need a massive amount. But yeah, I'll leave that to dry now for about an hour. And we'll pop it back off and we'll continue with the filler work. This side is almost skimmed now. I'm going to leave like um, almost like a swage line through here, just a very subtle one. So I don't want to put too much filler in there. I think it looks quite nice. It's got almost like a little kick out of the bottom, which matches the rest. <clears throat> this side here is almost done. Just a little bit of sanding to do. 
I've just done a skim through here, which I've now got to uh, shape and make nice. Across the top is all done. I've got to try and um, keep it off this uh, cabinet when I'm not actually uh, working on it because it stretches it out a little bit. But as soon as I leave it on the floor on a flat area or something like that, it goes back to shape, which is quite good. Um, I'm going to skim through here. So this shape is almost done, so I've got to now sand all this back. And then I've got to do some more work on this side because I've not really done much on this. I've just done a little light skim through here. So I'll crack on with some more filler work. And then I'll uh, update you on the progress when I'm covered in filler dust, etc. Right, so the... Filler works going quite well. I've um, just given it a light coat of aerosol primer. It's just the standard edge primer I use all the time. It's just to see basically where the high spots and low spots are. Because when you're using a lot of uh, filler, you sometimes you get to a point where you get a bit almost snow blind. So now I should be able to just carve this out with the 180 block to see exactly what lines I've got to actually improve. Like here you can see there's got little pinholes here. I've got to get rid of these. I don't know if you can see them on camera. Yeah, I think you can. I've got to um, either flat these out or put a little bit of stopper in those. You can see there's all the uh, scarring as well. I'm going over with this with a um, a high build primer as well. Because it's going silver, which is one of the worst uh, colours for showing all scratches and marks, etc. So I'll do a high build over the top. You see? It's showing up all the low spots now, so I can go over with this. So basically all I'm doing is using it as almost like a guide coat. So it just gives me a little bit more um, option to you know have a bit more attention to detail on it. So I can see all the different uh, faults etc in it. So I'll carry on with this. I've got a lot more filler work to do on it. I haven't done the other side yet. I've done this side. This is much, pretty much how I want it. You can see I've got like a, a slight curve through there. So again, I've got to improve that, as you can see there, you can see all the scarring in it from the 80 grit. So I'll improve all that, and then I'll give it a couple more coats of the etch primer, sand it right back to almost flat again, and then I'll do the high build primer. But I'll continue with the filler work, and once all the filler work's done, and then I've got to this stage again, we'll have another look. and. Uh, Check on the progress, etc. I think you'll agree, it's starting to come out quite nice. I'm really happy with that line in there. That line there is quite nice through there. Yeah, there's a little bit more attention, but nothing that can't be fixed. A little bit of stopper in there, a few pinholes. Yeah, getting there slowly but surely. So, that's pretty much all the filler work done. Quite nice. I've got a little bit of shaping to do around the front just here and on that vent there to make it match that one. But that's not much to do and that line through the middle there still needs some attention and some work. It keeps dropping down a bit here but I will actually um, attach this with some 3M tape to make that stick there. And these returns I've got to uh, neaten up as well. But it's all just final bits now, final touches. I'm quite happy the way it sits. The side bit's quite nice as well. It's all held in place. It sticks out a little bit here. There's a bit of a gap. But I might just be able to fill that with a little bit of uh, fibre fill or something. Just to make that blend in and then round that return off. As you can see there, the side's a little bit sharp. It's only aerosol primer this at the moment. I'm using, like I said before, I'm just using it as a guide coat. So all these little pinholes and scratch marks will go. And I'll do the high build as well, probably three, four coats. Just to give it some thickness so I can actually uh, sand it back and get it nice and flat before I put the paint on. This side's sticking out again a little bit. I've also pinned that side out a little bit. So I think it does match. It's still in a little bit more than that side. And I can just pin that out a little bit more, I think. I can just bring that out. Something like that, I think. That'll bring that corner in there. So I just push that. I'll put a block in behind it, a little plastic spacer. See, that'll bring that out. I'm gonna bond it on. I think it might be all right. Yeah, it's a bit better. Yeah, it's better. 
cool. So, more sanding again for the finer grit this time, just to get all the shapes right and the lines right. And then I'll do the uh, high build primer. So, I'm taking the front lip back off and I'll start flattening it with the uh, fine sanding blocks, which are coming out nice. Uh, finish now. I'm actually improving these lines. I've done a little bit of stopper work for some pinholes, etc. So what I'm going to do now is I'll continue with all this, get all nice and uh, smooth, get all these scratch lines and mark lines out of there. And then I think in the next video we'll uh, get onto the high build primer, flat that, then we'll do the silver and the clear, and we'll get it on the car and see how it looks. So I hope you join me in that one. So if you've liked this video, please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.